okay so today we are going to talk about how to capture one order in the salesforce industry so before that we need to understand what is order management industry order management so the industry order management uh, is something which we exchange the data between different systems to give the right service to our customer so whenever you are clicking to any website or you're buying some product from any website uh, once you click on the order payment top button then there are so many systems which are there behind the scene who are responsible to complete that order so the industry order management interact with those systems like delivery systems like your activation system like your billing system inventory systems or workforce management systems so these are the different things which uh, is done and taken care by the industry order, order management today what we are going to do we are first understanding that how we can create one opportunity and how can we create one code from that opportunity and then after order from that opportunity and then submit that order so we will understand uh, the entire process of order management entire process flow of order management um, in salesforce industry so let's go to the org this is opportunity scheme so i will create one new opportunity here i'll give the account name now there are different stages which has been predefined by the uh, on the opportunity stage so we can say this is prospect opportunity number of month contract month we will put some close date here now there are different kind of channels which we can web channel we can define type which is this is a new business what are the lead source and we can define the probability and everything so these are the different fields which is defined by the opportunity stage so we'll save it let's wait now this is our opportunity created now if you see right now the opportunity consists of these many stages and this is the place where we can configure our product for that opportunity so let's say configure it will open velocity cart this is what we call it cart so if you say that my next topic will be to understand the cart what is the cart of velocity so come again here now this card is blank right now reason being because we have not selected price here so selecting the price which consist of the different product so we will select price from here now the different products are coming here let's say we will select any product from here business video service the here it defines the different actions this is add action this is one time total we can click on this one this will override the one time charge so let's find it out so you can override some value using amount override let's say i want to put some ten thousand so let's say i have done override here now if i'll go back here I can configure this thing I can see my download speed I can see upload speeds I can see my connection type these are not right now selectable thing for me so we'll come to that point as well so let's see this is my recurring total this is my opportunity total because of one time total plus recurring code total of 12 month if you see I have selected 12 is a contract here so 12 multiplied by the recurring total now I can create code from here directly if I create code from here it will create directly code now how this code creation is happening this is out of the box uh, velocity omni scripts are getting invoked here mm, and it's using data mapper field so if you see right now the code is created by all the uh, value of the opportunity so if I'll go back here it's still creating 
so see right now this is opportunity quote is getting created now if i see the, if i if i click on the view record this will show me the quote record so this is my quote record has been created if you see right now the entire value of the opportunity is coming so all things has been populated from the and if you see if i go back and if i okay in configure here this is my all the products line item has been copied from opportunity to here how this has happened we can see if you go back so we will go back here so this is happening using one of the field mapper so this is a functionality which is provided by the velocity if you wanted to map from one object to another object fields then you can map it in the field mapper okay so now this is my code and if you see i can do code to pdf so i can click on the pdf okay this is not there right now i'll go back again this code to pdf is not working i need to do some setup now i can create directly order from here so if i click on this order my order will be created so this is seamless process you create opportunity then you create quote and then you can create one order as well now my order has been created so if you remember what i've told this is a card now there are two very important things for any order one is the order decomposition and one is order orchestration so we'll go in details on the later of our demos so first we'll go so you can see you can decompose your order here or you can submit order decompose button will not be available uh, in your live org it will be only available on your uh, sandbox or in, in, in your training org or in your uh, uh, dev or test environment so if i collect on the submit order the order will be submitted this again invoking one of the omni script let's wait so my order has been submitted and if i'll go next it is will navigate to account there's a standard flow which has been provided by salesforce if i'll go to 17 it is directly activated there is no uh see that the different status has been created there is no decomposition there is no uh what do you say order uh, uh, orchestration has been done we'll we'll come to those point how those thing will happen so this is standard way of creating any uh lead to opportunity to quote to order process in the uh, salesforce industry